A popular music festival is expanding. The Brit is taking over two lots in Jacksonville. They say good things come to those who wait. The line reached about, oh, 50 feet up that way when we first got here. They have great venue and they've got great performers and uh, it's just fun to go. Each year, hundreds of people line up outside Brit Festival offices to get tickets for their favorite acts. It's just it's a great dynamic season this year. There's a little bit of everything. Fans, no waiting pays off. Now the Brit Festival itself is proving that patience is virtue. For the first time ever, the festival, which rents its stage, owns property. These, these properties have really been on our radar screen for a couple of decades, as a matter of fact. The properties, two lots near the Brit grounds, right now they are residential. One day they will be filled with cars, perfect parking spaces for people enjoying some summer sounds. Folks that live in Jacksonville understand the challenges of parking, uh, and it has been an ongoing issue for many, many years. And so this is just a win-win for the community of Jacksonville and for Brit, so we're very excited. Plans for the parking still in the works. Feasibility studies have to be done. The city of Jacksonville has to sign off, and money has to be raised. Even with all that work ahead, the Brit is looking forward to the future. The lots are located next to the Brit grounds. One is vacant, the other on First Street has a home on it. For now, the Brit will rent the house out to pay for the mortgage. There's no word when the lots will be converted to parking or when a capital campaign to pay for the conversion will start.